Well, hello Living Waters and happy anniversary, happy 25th anniversary. This is Kermit Swanson and I've been thinking about making a video for a few days but quite honestly wasn't sure what to say. There's so much on my heart about the years that we've been connected to Living Waters. It's been such a huge part of our lives over the last 25, really 28 years for us and we are so grateful for that. I could probably sit here today and recite to you from memory all of the history over the last 25, or should I say again, 28 years that we've experienced. I'm so grateful for all the pastors and their families that have served us so faithfully over these years, and I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart. I could probably spend a lot of time, as I said, going over all of this with you, but I want to put it in a little different context for you today and maybe look forward a little bit as well. Living Waters Lutheran Church has been transformative for me in many, many ways. But there are two that I would like to share with you today, two events, two things that have stuck with me. As we know, really our salvation, everything started when Jesus died on the cross almost 2,000 years ago. But I'm not going to go back that far. But I would like to go back to 1954. Living Waters didn't exist then, you say, and that's true. But as we started with Living Waters, and we didn't know what to expect, but we knew we wanted to try something different. We, had, we were going through the process and, and uh, had been with the church for a while and seen us, uh, saw us be recognized and received as a congregation of the ELCA bought land, went through a building process, etc. And somewhere along the line in that process, I remember that I was home in Cleveland at my home congregation, Bethlehem Lutheran Church. And we were there for service on a Sunday morning. And I was going up after worship upstairs and down a hallway to the choir room to see my folks as I'd done many, many times growing up, walking through this hallway, which I'd been through a thousand times, and seeing on the wall above one of the coat racks, which had been there for years, was a gold shovel that was hung on the wall with a black and white photograph of the people that were in the groundbreaking in 1954. And it was at that moment that the notion of the Holy Catholic Church that we speak about in the Apostles' Creed every week hit me like a ton of bricks, that that's what we were doing. That's what I'm doing. And so it, can, it started then and continues today and will into the future. And then again, the second item, at our dedication of the building in 2004, and I was asked to say a few words, again, not exactly sure what to say, and I came upon the parable of the vineyard owner in Matthew chapter 20. And the vineyard owner who pays the same amount of money to those who were there early in the morning, mid-morning, through the course of the day, indeed into the evening. And that I realized that this gift is given to all of us whenever we come upon it. And that this church will be a gift of salvation for all who seek it, whether they have been with us at Living Waters from the beginning, came just that day, or into the future. And it was at that moment that I realized, although I was feeling a great sense of accomplishment, that there was great humility and responsibility also in this endeavor to focus on all who we were building this for today and into the future. And I guess it's what's driven me all of these years to stick with it and to, and to pray for those who might come. You know, Greg Villalon and I were talking when he was the interim last year one day about communion and just theological differences and so on. And he remarked to me that communion, when he went to communion, he felt the presence of his parents and all of those who had come before him and into the future. And that's powerful for me now because when I commune, I think about that and I think about those folks in that photograph in 1954 some of whom I remember growing up with, 
some of whom I'd never met. And that church has been in existence even since 1890, but also through all the years of Living Waters and into the future. And so that someday down the road, 25, 30, 50 years from now, during communion in Living Waters, that those people will be communing with me. They won't know me by name, but that's okay. We'll be communing together. And so I pray for that future for us. I'm grateful for the years we've had, and I'd like to pray about it, but I'm not exactly sure how to pray, but I thought about this earlier this week too, and Pastor used it in a letter he wrote earlier this week. When we don't quite know what to say, the Spirit can help us. The Spirit intercedes for us with sighs too deep for words to express. Mm -hmm. And so it goes with living waters. Today, all the years we're celebrating and into the future, we pray Spirit guides us. One more time. The Spirit intercedes for us with sighs too deep for words to express. Mm -hmm. Happy anniversary, Living Waters. <laughs>